You want to hear one more? Okay, who remembers radio stations in Chicago, WCFL, WLS? Okay, that's right. Well, this song, I remember, I was 11 years old when this song came up, and it became a number one hit, and it stayed on the number one hit parade charts for 10 weeks straight. So, uh, this is another one y'all gotta sing with us on, okay? to Greg Ashby and Chris Grove tonight. Our leader, Bill, said that might have been the best show he ever saw at the Acorn Theater. That's what Bill said backstage. I'd like to take a minute to introduce the band to you. That's okay. So, the only reason I'm starting with him is because he's standing right there. But seriously, ladies and gentlemen, there aren't many fine sax players like this guy right here. You know that song he did with Chris? That song he did with Chris and Greg? He never heard it before. And they didn't rehearse that. He just came out and played it cold. That's just that Sonny Lee trip right here, everybody. You see these guys looking at the iPads? They all got charts. Sonny writes all the charts for this band. Puts all the music on a piece of paper, puts it in a daggone 
funny looking thing and away they go and like I said earlier look at this good looking rascal would you please Ralph Whipple is one of the sweetest people I've ever had the pleasure of knowing and he's a great trumpet player please say hello to Ralph Whipple will you Would you believe this guy right here with these dreads was once a chief of police in Phoenix, Arizona? Would you believe he was in Vietnam, boots on the ground? Would you believe he was in Harvey, Harvey, Illinois, where he had to been crazy to be up in there for 30 years? How about it one time, please, for the big man, Mr. 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 Daryl Neal. And this cool guy right here, look here, he's playing guitar, he's been playing harmonica, he's been playing trombone, he, sometimes he plays keyboards, when we play Sympathy for the Devil, he plays it on a keyboard. Anyway, we also practice in his basement, and his wife Rita's here somewhere, and uh, she lets, there she is, hi Rita, Rita lets us play in her basement and make all that noise. Please give your hands, keep your hands together, I should say, for Mr. Jeffrey Sachs, Jeffrey Allen Sachs. Well, the guy that brought this band back and resurrected this band, along with Jeffrey, is standing right up here. He got a red guitar on. And his name is, he's our leader, by the way. This band leader, Bill B, will be back here. Say hi to Bill, will you? There's another good looking rascal right here. Harmonica playing fool. This guy, if we were playing a bunch of blues tonight, he would have knocked you out. Please, please, please say hello and thank this good looking rascal, Jumpin' Gene Halton. Now, uh, this next guy sang about 85 songs tonight. He's one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Tremendous keyboard player. You got a new jacket, bro. Please say hello to Eddie Beard, Eddie Beard. And so, uh, if you've heard the Rolling Stones since the passing of the great Charlie Watts, you know they sound a little different. Still a tremendous band, but check this out. It sounds a little different. It's okay. It's okay because the drummer is the person that sets the, the spirit in him. And the way that he grooves is either going to make it work and not make it work. He's, Steve Jordan is definitely making it work. But God bless Charlie Watts for all the years he led the Rolling Stones in a hit record after hit record after hit record. Well, we got a guy like that too. I'm talking about this guy right back here. This is Gene Norrie. My favorite drummer in the whole wide world. I can't. Okay. Now we gotta do this thing again. I can't. Love Mark Rogers. Mark Rogers. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Mark Rogers. We couldn't. Uh, we wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for him walking through these doors seven years ago. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mark. Do you want to hear one more? 
Okay. We did this one for the sound check today.